We're here in Auschwitz, the place made famous for its Nazi death camps. At these death camps, thousands of Jews were exterminated and killed due to an evil dictator. I believe word that Eli Weasel, the author of the novel Night, has come back to visit Auschwitz. Let's go see if we can get an interview, folks. How was Eli when he entered the camps? Uh, only about 15. Oh. oh my God! There he is! Hey, Eli, Ray Martin, a current affair. Just wondering, can we please grab a quick interview off you? Should we take one car or two? Um, let's take one car. Okay. I've got to tell you, I was at my house. Ladies and gentlemen, please make feel welcome, Eli Weasel. <laughs> Now, Eli, you understand that before the death camps, you didn't have a strong relationship with your father. But at these camps, he was the only person you knew. Yes, yeah, so well, before the time of the Holocaust, my father spent more time probably relating to people with the community than what he did our family. And so I didn't have a very strong bond with him. Father, would you like to come have a kick with me? No, son, the community needs me more. But why, Father? You just go have a kick by yourself. You don't right. need me. Alright. survival and really that's what, what got me through the holocaust because he was just the, the shield over me protecting me from all the bad things and without him I wouldn't be here Thank today. Father, I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry son, just stay close. I find it amazing that at the start you were a very religious young boy but by the end you lost all your faith in God. Yes, well, at the beginning of my days, I um, spent my time studying the Calibre at school and with my parents, and then at night time I'd run to the synagogue to weep over its destruction. And I will teach you the ways of our Jewish tradition. Thank you, Moshe, my teacher. Hang down, bon, da, da, ba. Hang down, gong, gong, da. <laughs> But when I witness the hanging of an innocent little boy, it's here is my God, up here on these gallows. Eternal, bless our God, for He is so great and we love Him. What are you, my God? What does your greatness mean, Lord of the universe, in the face of all this decay? Why do you still trouble their sick minds, their crippled bodies? Should I bless the Eternal? Bless thou who chose us to be tortured day and night. Yes, man is very strong, greater than God. I cease to plead with you. I have become the accuser. Now, God, you are the accused. Let us pray. Death camps, you undertook many punishments. What was your worst? Well, as you said, Ray, I did take, take on huge penalties and punishments and many different ones too, but the worst one that I undertook would have to have been... I will teach you for not minding your own business. Help clean your wounds. Thanks, girl. We understand you called the book Night. Why is this? Well, Ray, night is the dark colour. It represents black. Black it represents all the hard times of night, all the loneliness, all the unhappiness. As a kid, it's drilled into you that night is when all the bad things happen to you. Dracula comes out at night, the monsters from under your bed and your closet come out. And just throughout the book is just darkness. This will teach you for me, Cheeky! <laughs> teach you for me, Cheeky! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Eli, my son. Eli. Yes, father. The goat that's in, in the basement. No, father, you come get it with me. I fear my days are over. Father, uh, you be there to get it with me. Uh, uh. Father! Father! Wow, that was amazing. Thanks for your time, Eli. Pleasure, pleasure to one, right? Thanks for having me on the show. Look forward to next time. All right, see Ladies you later. and gentlemen, Eli From that breathtaking interview, we can see that Eli, an innocent young boy, was transformed into a tired old man. This transformation became of the events of the Holocaust. On tomorrow night's show... Are your neighbours stealing your clothes? Get back here! Could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Neighbors, attack! Stole my clothes. Now you know how happy I can be. <laughs> oh, and a good time starts and then without dollar one to spend. But how much, baby, do?